Hello everybody, okay, back again, and uh, this is a cricket, uh, it's a Arduino Nano, when you press the button, not sure if you can hear it actually, I try to amplify it. I try to amplify with the uh, <coughs> with sorry cough with the transistors and and uh, what do you call it a resistor okay so practically when you press the button the the passive uh, buzzer goes click click that's supposed to be like that okay and it's an Arduino Nano which is easy. Most of the projects that I've done with the waves and everything can also be done with an Arduino Nano. It's not a major deal where there is no need for wire, uh, uh, Wi-Fi. So <coughs> okay, so this is the way it works. Pin number eight, okay, goes to. Sorry, I'm getting it. Problem is I don't have Fritz. I've lost it, and I have to re-download it. So from D8, okay, goes goes to the one side of the one side of the resistor, which the resistor goes to the base of the transistor, and the the col uh, the emitter on this side. Remember, when you look at transistor, you look at the flat. The flat face must face you. So the emitter is on my right, and the collector is on my left. Okay. So the c the emitter goes to ground. Okay. The base in the middle goes to the resistor, the resistor goes to pin number D8, digital 8. Okay, and the collector, the collector here will have the uh, signal pin of the buzzer. Okay, or in case you don't, uh, this has got three pins, but most of the buzz have two pins, so that uh, it w this will go to the positive. And you still have the ground of the buzzer. So there we are, we have the VCC and the ground. Then, <coughs> sorry, I don't know why I got cough. We place the uh, D4, digital pin 4. Remember, D4 is on this side, this is uh, analog pins. So the D4 goes to one side of the button and uh, then you ground it. The other, the other side goes ground. This is the railing that it does with the ground here. You can see that there is a ground. Sorry. And the VCC, 5 volt. This is 5 volt VCC of the Arduino. Okay, so I'm not sure if you know, this is the loudest that I could get. You can add up a, a nine, nine volt battery and it'll very loud. But I didn't do that. That sounds like a cricket, which has 40 fre mark, uh, megahertz frequency. So each I wonder if I put it on my microphone. Hope you can hear it. Okay, so it's all done. The uh, can show the. <coughs> Sorry, I got a bit of a cold. There we are. You have uh, there is no library needed here. You have a bottom pin four, 
Bazapin 8 and I also put uh, a, an amplify pin in case that you want to s s you want to put an amplifier like a speaker or something like that but uh, I couldn't uh, I don't have a small speaker so I'm not going that way yet okay so there we are it is playing here, uh, you know, active amplifier if in use, okay. And that is the frequency of the the cricket sounds. Okay, guys, I think I cover everything, and this was a quick one. Just remember, remember this, very important. Okay, so okay, just remember the middle one is the bass, the emitter, the collector. Okay, so the collector is on your left, the emitter is on your right, the bass is in the middle, the transistors, the flat face goes in front of you. Okay. So the flat face, see, it's got a flat, because you're facing it, so you know exactly where everything is. Okay, thank you guys, you have a good day.